This is a time right now where we have some people who want to share testimonies with you guys. And as all of us know here, we are a church that shares testimonies. Because testimony time is an important time. It is a time where we can come and we can connect with God and we can connect with other people and what he's doing. You know, this is a time where we can see that the Holy Spirit is still moving, not just in this church, but in this community around the world. And we have such an amazing privilege that God is doing wonderful things in our midst. You know, there's many places that would wish to have the testimonies that we have. So as you're going to hear these testimonies, just keep these, this, those, these testimonies in mind. Keep it in your heart. You know, there's a, several reasons why we give testimonies. The first reason is that it glorifies God. We give testimony to give glory to God. Second reason is we give testimony because it defeats Satan. The Bible says in Revelations 12, 11, that they overcame by the blood of the lamb and the word of their testimony. In that same scripture, it gives glory to God and it defeats the enemy. Amen? Third reason why we give testimony is because it encourages our faith. And the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua, says that if millions are to believe today, they must see proof that Jesus Christ is still the same yesterday, today, and forever. And this is the time for our faith to grow. So that when we hear these testimonies, and the next time we go and read our Bible, we can say, ah, yes, he did it again and again and again. And the fourth reason why we give testimony Vladimir, help me out. The fourth reason why we give testimony. <laughs> There's, okay, yes, it's like a seed, right? Yeah? We're going to make this, up, this one up on the spot. I had it in my head, and wow. Amen. That's right. Because it, it causes testimonies to happen again. When we give thanks to God and we say, thank you, Jesus, for what he's done, we're really saying, thank you, Jesus, I know you can do it again. And it is a plant a seed for more miracles to keep on happening within the church and within your own life. Even every time you give thanks to God, even in your personal life, you're saying, I know you can do it again. You know, when you go to face your next problem, you think about all the things that God has done, and it gives you the strength to be able to overcome that mountain. Amen. It's like David when he faced Goliath. He faced Goliath and he brought his testimony. He said, God was with me when I went, went to defeat the lion. God was with me and I defeated that bear. So who are you to stand in my way? Amen? So now that you've heard my whole spiel on testimonies, we actually want to get to this important part. So I want our first person, Anna, to come forward. Anna has a testimony to share with us. I don't know why any of you guys were surprised about this one. So I, I'm not even going to have to say it. She just has another testimony to share with you guys today. So Anna, can you tell us uh, the problem that you are having and the testimony that you have to share with us? Um, well, before the problem, I want to say that God gives us a common sense. And like I was running with my cousin the other day, and um, it started to be a little bit misty outside. And it's a little bit cold. And mom's like, oh, I'll put on a hat because you can get an ear infection. I'm like, no, it's OK, it's OK. Well, one of the days um, earlier that week on Saturday, I was going outside and I was barefoot. And well, the Sunday morning I woke up and my lower back was kind of pinching. Surprise. <laughs> Listen to your mother when she says to put on clothes. Um, well, and I was like, well, I'll just go to a chiropractor on Monday or whatever and everything's going to be fine. I'm like, well, then doing cell group, Mariana's like, oh, does anybody have anything that you need to pray for? I was like, well, okay, fine. <laughs> so we prayed for my back. It did not, the pain did not go away right away. The next morning I woke up and I tested my back. I'm like, oh my gosh, there's no pinching pain anymore. So I was completely healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. So that's just reason number 2,769 of why you should go to home group on Sundays. Because if you have pain... If you have problems, people will pray for you and miracles will happen. And to further prove this point, we have another person who's going to share with us, Sophia. There she is. Let's give Sophia a round of applause. She's a little nervous. It's okay. God is with you. You'll overcome. Amen. This is Sophia, everybody. I'm going to try to make it so she doesn't have to talk that much. But you do have to talk a little bit. So, Sophia, can you tell us what was the problem that you were having and what is your testimony today? 
Well, ever since I was little, I've been having like ear problems. And when a few years ago, I went and got a tube placed in my ear because I had an infection and like the problem went away. But for the past like month, I've been having shooting pains going into my ears. And when I went to home groups this last week, I got I asked Lana to pray for me because she was praying for all of us individually and like right when she prayed for me the pain stopped and I went home and it didn't come back. Amen. Wow, this is an awesome testimony, you guys. This is awesome. And how old are you, Sophia? Fourteen. You guys, see, if a 14-year-old can have faith to receive her healing, you too can have faith to receive your healing. So let's put our hands together one more time for Jesus. Thank you. And we have one more testimony to share with you guys, if, Gil if Galena could come forward. This is a pretty cool one, you guys. So everyone, this is Galena. You all know Galena. And if you didn't know Galena, now you know Galena, okay? So you can meet her afterwards. She cooks very well, and she's a very wonderful lady. So Galena, can you tell us what was the problem that you were having and the testimony that you have to share with us today? I had a shoulder for two years. I fought with him. I went to the chiropractor. Ну, ніякої, не, не було ніякої допомоги. Крепко було е, погано ночі, я не могла спати. I had shoulder pains for two years. I've been going to chiropractors and uh, it, it never stopped. The pain is there. І, ну, я ждала, ждала, ждала і молилася сама. А це пройшло місяць назад на ночній молитві в п'ятницю. Нас так і не було дуже багато, і я сказала, щоб помолилися за мене. І Ілія помолився за мене з помазаною водою, ну вся молодь наша. А молодь наша сильна. About a month ago, it was actually on a night prayer. There wasn't much of us, but uh, Ilya? Ilya, he prayed for me with anointing water, and all the rest of the youth, they all prayed for me. And... Я забулася, я прийшла до я забулася, спала спокійно, і вже пройшло місяць, мені нічого не болить. And I completely forgot about this problem and I, then I realized it's been a month where I actually don't have pain at all. Wow, that's amazing. Now Galina, can you do us a favor? Can you show us something you can do with your shoulder now that you couldn't do before? Every time I was sleeping at night, I had to hold uh, my shoulder, shoulder, shoulder like this. So, so yeah, I had to move my shoulder like a few times, and then I, only then I could fall asleep. So you mean to say that ever since one month ago, now you can go to sleep, you don't have to hold your shoulder, and you can sleep peacefully through yeah. the night? Yeah, I just sleep on the And I easily sleep on that side now. Amen. Put your hands together for wonderful Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Galena. You guys, this just goes to show the wonderful power of God Almighty that he is still among us today. He is with us through his word and by his spirit. And when we come to him in faith, he is faithful to meet us at the point of our needs. So whatever sickness you may be having, whatever problem you may be facing, know that Jesus Christ is on your side. He's ready to just meet you at the point of your needs. So let that sink into your heart and let that miracle happen again in your life in Jesus' name.